Hey everyone, my name is Rue and we are here. This is going to be week number 10, I believe, of the PCL. Uh, this should be the second to last week. And for all the talking that I've been doing about how I've been in must-win situations, this is the real must-win situation. The last two weeks are super must-win situations, but my last two matchups are two of my most important ones. They are in division rematches. Okay, uh, we're gonna get right into it. We see the Tyranitar, Whimsicott, Buzzwool, uh, Piloswine, Rotom Mo no Rotom Heat and Necrozma. So right off the bat, no Celesteela. I hard predicted him to bring Celesteela. So many versions of this team had a Mega Manectric just to deal with the Celesteela, but um I backed off on that at the last second. I really did not believe that he would bring the Celesteela after all. Um, especially just given my Manectric, so I backed off of that. Um no Aerodactyl, which is kind of nuts. Uh no Zorark, no Mega Garchomp. No Primarina, actually. No Primarina is kind of wild. No Primarina is actually kind of nuts. Um, I guess he was fearing the Mecha Medectric, maybe, but regardless, it was, it was such a good bring, I felt like. Um, I think Celebi is the best just kind of all-around lead. I think the only thing that really threatens Celebi too, too much would be the Rotom... Um, I keep wanting to say Rotom Mo. The Rotom Heat lead, but... I kind of don't see that happening. I'm not too, too sure. I don't see that happening. Um, if anything, I would be surprised if he didn't want to lead off with the... Uh... Piloswine, but we will see the Whimsicott leads. That's super interesting. So, here's the thing. He could switch out. I could go for a U-turn. He could U-turn himself on me. Which would not be ideal, but I can't imagine that doing a whole heck of a lot. I can't imagine that doing a whole heck of a lot. Just a straight up U-turn. At level 50, yeah, should not do much. I could get up rocks right now. He could want to stay in just to defog them away. I kind of want to get a big chunk of damage off with Psychic. I feel like that... I feel like wearing down this thing for the for the um later game would be pretty huge it does set up a sub which is really interesting i think he yeah he definitely expected me to want to just switch out immediately but um letting him kind of do these types of things was exactly what i was trying to prevent uh the celebi the celebi was mainly designed to take on the mega guard chomp but without it here it doesn't I don't directly need it for a whole heck of a lot. I should have taken a screenshot of the team. I'm going to take a screenshot of the bottom screen. Just really quickly. But, um, it does... It should help against, uh, keep the Buzzwool Bay. It kind of helps against Tyranitar. It definitely helps against the Piloswine. But, like I said, I should eat up a U-turn from this thing. And just staying in and not letting this thing get behind a sub or do whatever the heck it wants to do does seem really valuable to me i do kind of want to just click second again i do kind of think this thing would want to switch out possibly into the pile of swine maybe into the tyranitar maybe i go for giga drain this turn i don't yet know maybe I just click stealth rocks maybe I just click stealth rocks i would be you know what i'd actually be surprised if he didn't u-turn into tyranitar right now do i really want to make that plane go for the giga drain right now because I think I might want to do that. I don't think there's any way he goes into Pilot Swine right now. I don't think there's any way he goes into Pilot Swine right now. I'm going to go for it. I think he U-turns. Does just straight up withdraw. Doesn't even U-turn. Maybe he doesn't have to U-turn. That would be pretty wild. It goes into this thing. I get a Giga Drain off. I do an okay amount. Um, this thing could have x -Scissor. I'd be surprised if this thing had x -Scissor, to be honest. I imagine this thing having Heat Wave. But does it allow me to do anything, really? I don't think so. I feel like what I want to do mo more than anything is just get up Stealth Rocks. Right now? I don't want this thing to click Autotomize, but you wouldn't Autotomize turn 2. Or turn 3. I think he gets up rocks. I'm going to click stealth rocks. I outspeed, so he, it could be either super defensive stealth rocks or goes for a rock polish straight up. Okay. Okay. Again, does he have the X-Scissor? 
It has a signal beam. Okay. I think that just straight Oko's. Maybe we take it? Okay, we just barely take it. Now this is... Mm, this is not a good situation to be in. You're at an okay amount of health. We're an okay amount of HP. But what do I want to do? Honestly, my McGearn is pretty free here. I like not so much that I would want to switch into it, but enough that I think if I give some if I sack something here, McGearna comes in and helps me out a lot. Maybe I just give up the Selby here? Selby doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot for me. Getting off a Psycho with Selby could be huge against the Buzzwool. Could uh, getting a Giga Drain off could be huge against the Pilot Swine, but it Ice Shards me. And against the Tyranitar, just getting a hit off just for some damage. Maybe Rocks is enough for me at this point. My thinking right now is that all my other Mons are really valuable to me right now. I'm going to give this thing up. I'm going to just go for another Giga Drain. Like I said, Magirna is fairly free. Um, I did actually pretty last second pack um, Floor Cannon onto my, onto my Magirna. So I'm actually going to see. Um, what is that thing called? Necrozma. Necrozma. And Celebi was doing about a quarter. So it's, so this thing's at least max HP. This thing should be at least max HP. Yeah, yeah. It looks almost exactly max HP. Which means... Oh, and... Actually... This thing might not, might be like max defense or something? Because signal beam... No, okay, okay no. We, Celebi always took a signal beam. Okay, no, that's fair enough. That's totally fair enough. So, I believe this means that Magirna just clicks floor cannon and... Even if it goes for a heat wave, we take a heat wave. I don't want to mess with any weakness policy plays right now. Uh, even though I will get weakness policy up, I probably just click floor cannon, yeah. By all indications, floor cannon should just KO a max HP Necrozma. And even if I have to give up my Magirna to do it, um, I'm confident enough in the rest of my team to kind of deal with it. Especially since it goes for Earth Power. Okay. I think we should take this just as well. Not really just as well, but we take it. Does set off Weakness Policy, and uh, yeah, this Floor Cannon... Uh, he has no chance against this floor, floor Cannon, essentially. Which is fine, because this is one of the... First, so first of all, this is one of the biggest impediments to my Scarfed coma O. And with rocks, close combat becomes just a little bit more spammable. The Whimsicott's going to be an issue, but uh, it can definitely be worn down. Absolutely can be worn down. And uh, other than that, Rot yeah, Rotom Heat's going to be definitely an issue. Is it worth preserving this thing? Just go. He can go for overheat, right? Um, he can certainly go for overheat. But is it worth it? I don't think it is worth it. Well, no, he would for sure go for Thunderbolt because of a potential... Because of a potential... Tentacruel. But then again, I do have... Uh, I have both Coma O and Zygarde in the back. I'm going to go into Zygarde, actually. I'm going to make this super aggressive play in his eye guard. Does he call this at all? He can't HP ice. Yeah, it just goes for the overheat. We avoid the overheat. Now, I still don't know if this thing is... Well, no, it doesn't matter if this thing is scarfed anymore because... Um, I get a super fat... Um, thousand arrows off on something. I get a very fat thousand arrows off on something. I'm curious what type of damage I'm doing against the Whimsicott. 
I think I saw Leftovers Whimsicott already. I don't, I don't even think I got to gauge damage off of Psychic. I know that Psychic did over a quarter because, um, because of the sub, but I don't think that really bears much on anything here. Um, he could potentially try to go into... Yeah, I think my play has to be to click Zen Headbutt here. Actually. Because he would never go into Tyranitar. His switches in are the... Are the... Whimsicott or the Buzzwool. I mean, it's a super aggressive play. 100%. But I feel like I just go for it. Does withdraw. I feel like I just go for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're doing a clean over half to this thing, at least. Um, well, it could be max HP, which would be unfortunate, but, um, yeah, that's a lot of damage. And I have to switch out, for sure. I think Tentacruel is fairly safe here. Tentacruels feel safe here. I don't think he can safely kick, click Giga Drain because of the Liquid Ooze. Now, I actually don't even know if I made this thing Liquid Ooze or not, but yeah, it just goes for the Moon Blast. That's totally fair. Now, now what do I do with what I assume is going to be an incoming Tyranitar? No, I for sure double. I for sure double here. I probably, in fact, I for, probably double back into, into Zygarde. I do that, yeah, for sure. Because, regardless, what this will... I mean, even if he did stay in, which he didn't, but even if he did stay in, uh, it would... Alright, this this is the worst possible switch in. But no, even if he did stay in, it would have allowed me to go for an extreme speed. And yeah, this is not a switch in that I'm super comfortable with. Unless he uses this turn to go for Stealth Rocks. Maybe he's not in a position to do that. Maybe he has to go for the Ice Shard here. Maybe he has to go for the Ice Shard here. Isle of Swine. Thousand Arrows barely two hits. Ice Shard always KOs. Actually, I can for sure go into Magirna here. Yeah, Magirna is a really good switch in here. Because he either goes for Rocks or Ice Shard. Um, and I hope I take two Ice Shards, question mark. But, um... Goes for straight up Icicle Crash. That's a totally fair play. But I go from 58 down to 28. So I think that means it's a roll, but regardless... Well, no, he can't Ice Shard. And I get a super fat Floor Cannon off. I get a very fat Floor Cannon off. I was going to say, if anything, I think Whimsicott might be his best um, sack here. But he's not going to sack the Whimsicott. Just, yeah, just eats this thing. And... Just click CQ. That's totally fair enough. But now... Oh, so how much did I do to that pile of swine? Um... Down to 21-ish percent. Magirna Floor Cannon. So, uh, yeah, that's about right. That's about right for just max HP pile of swine. Uh, it, it might actually be an offensive pile of swine. So, uh, the default set in Showdown is a max offensive pile of swine. But regardless, regardless, I think my play has to be to go into... Has to be to go into... No, my play could just be to go into... Um... Como -O here. I think my play is Como. -O. Scarfed Como -O is super clutch here. Even if he brings in the Buzzwool, Rocks, and a Max Attack, Adamant, Close Combat is going to do a decent amount of damage here. And I think I'm, it's well in range where... Okay. We keep Rocks off the field. He has no Rockers left. Oh, he has a Tyranitar, theoretically. But, um... 
Yeah, I don't think I care. For sure the Whimsicott can come in here, but I should always have the Tentacruel play. Yeah. Yeah. Does he set up a... Does he set up a sub? No, well, he can't set up a sub. After rocks. Um, I outspeed this thing. I'm scarfed. He doesn't know that I'm scarfed, but I outspeed this thing. Yeah, I just click close combat. Because... He, I mean, he could stun Spore. No, he 100% has to click Moonblast. Right? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty positive that I'm 134 speed. With a Scarf. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I had to speed, outspeed Aerodactyl. So, I click Close Combat for sure. So, okay. Okay, we're in an interesting position here. I'm in a very interesting position here. Um, I could see the Buzzwool coming in, for sure. I think that's a Buzzwool, yeah. And do I give this thing up? No, I really need this against the, the... The Tyranitar. I really need this against the Tyranitar. I think now I'm in a position to give up the Tentacruel. Right? Yeah, I'm for sure in a position to give up the Tentacruel. For sure, for sure. So, I'm pretty... <sighs> this is going to be interesting. Because I am reasonably sure that this thing is going to be Scarfed. Buzzwool. I'm reasonably sure that this thing would want to be Scarfed. Yeah, that damage looks about right for Scarf. It's definitely not banded or anything crazy like that. Um, I super think that this thing is Scarfed. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And Scald is actually super free here. Scald is actually super free here. I'm going to click Scald. Okay, not Scarfed. Fair enough, fair enough. Totally fair enough. Okay, does get a beast boost off of that. Um, I mean, it's not going to be a speed beast boost. So I don't think I, have to, I don't think I mind too too much here. Attack rose. So, what does that mean for me? I think, I think I'm in a position to give up eel here. For if I give up eel in exchange for a super fang. I could give up Eel in exchange for Super Fang. This is a more or less max defense Eel. Um, what does that mean for me? How much is Como doing? Como is not doing nearly enough. But what if I start clicking Outrage with Zygarde, or not Outrage? What if I start clicking moves with that with Zygarde? I, why do I? I don't have Outrage on my Zygarde. I think I put Outrage on my Coma O, is that right? No, I put Dragon Claw on my Coma O. So what does this mean for me? What does this mean for me? I think I have to go into Eel. I have to get a Toxic off. Hopefully then follow up with a Oh, is Buzzwell one of his Zemons? Um I think I have to follow up with a Super Fang. And then attempt to go for it from there. Uh, yeah, I for sure click Toxic here. Goes for Leech Life. I'm super curious to see how much damage this does. Ooh, okay. Does, what is that, 92 points of damage? No, 102 points of damage. Does 102 points of damage. Oof. Alright. This is going to be a very interesting endgame. It's going to be a very interesting endgame. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. 
What am I looking for? Okay. Z Move users are Pilus One and Cell Stila. I have to go for the Super Fang. Goes for Leech Life. We have to take this. We just have to take this. Oh, we take it on three. Okay, okay. All right, I'm I'm excited about that. I'm I'm very excited about that. And he doesn't get anything back from his from a follow up leech life. And now that he's this low, after another round of toxic, now that he's this low, um, that means that Como -O close combat might win here. I should maybe click U-turn. I should maybe click U-turn just in case he does. He has some crazy trick up his sleeve. In case he goes into Tyranitar to try to Dragon Dance on this, I guess. I'm gonna click U-turn. We'll see if he has anything crazy. Yeah, no, just goes for the Leech Life. Now I believe. This should put him under... If this puts him under 20%, then I'm for sure going into Como -O and just spamming close combat until it goes down. For sure, for sure. Okay, that is right on the borderline. That is exactly 25%, I'm pretty sure, because otherwise it would go to red. And I believe that would make Como -O a roll. I believe that would make Como -O a roll. Actually, it's not a roll if I click Dragon Claw. It's not a roll if I click Dragon Claw. But is that worth? Could, it, could I go into Zygarde and click Thousand Arrows? No, it doesn't matter because even if I click Thousand Arrows and I get taken out, then Como -O is still in a position to win. Como is still in a position to win. Yeah, so it's either going to be the case that that Zygarde gets a crazy roll and I and Zygarde wins the match, or Zygarde goes down and sets up Como to win the match. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel that line. I feel that line. If I had Outrage, then I then I think Outrage might win me this match, but um, I don't have Outrage. My full set is Extreme Speed, Zen Headbutt, Thousand Arrows, and Crunch, and I obviously can't lock into Zen Headbutt. So? Yeah, I just clicked Thousand Arrows, and hope that I get some miraculous roll here. But... Yeah, I don't see Tyranitar taking any kind of a close combat. Yeah, that's... I really wanted that roll, though. Tyranitar at level 50. Yeah, no, there should be no way. Even max defense. It would have to be max defense Chopple. Max defense Chopple and Rotom Heat... Is gonna go down to 50%. So we have to take out a max defense rotom, a potentially max defense rotom heat. And it actually looks like a roll, but it looks like a doable roll. It looks like a doable roll. But by all, every indication is that close combat could win this match. Every indication is that close combat potentially wins this match. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, even if Rotom Heat um, does take one hit, then... Even if Rotom Heat does take one hit, then I don't think it can hit me back with anything. Maybe HP Ice, and maybe at that point I'm at minus two th through close combat that it takes me out, but I imagine I take that. Maybe I take a, a minus two HP Ice? Yeah, 
But if I get this roll... Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Now, again, max defense chopel. Max defense chopel. Who knows? But Tyranitar should be the very last Mon here. Um, Focus Ash? He just wrote GG. I don't know what that means. I don't know if he know if he's Focus Ash and he wins. But, uh, yeah, that Buzz Wool was something else, man. That Buzz Wool was something else. Even if I, um, even if I did almost click us, uh, oh, he, I had rocks for this Ash, so it didn't matter anyway. That was a wild match. We come in just barely with a 1-0, but Coma O coming through with four KOs, I believe, in that match. Uh, took out the Rotom, the Rotom, oh no, five KOs, Rotom, uh, I keep wanting to see Mammoth Swine, Pilot Swine, Buzzwool, I believe it took out the Whimsicott as well, and the Tyranitar, so I believe that's five KOs for the Coma O, but, uh, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, we'll be back again really, really soon, we'll be back for the final week of the PCL, and if we have any playoff hopes, it's going to be in that match, and... Uh, it's going to be something. It, I'm going to do whatever the heck I can. I'm going to do whatever the heck I can. But uh, once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be looking out.